reactions to this event that is happening at the Bombers of Kenya today? Well, thank you very much, Maringa. We are set to have the 90th political party in Kenya in the next few minutes after the process uh, is... Uh, uh, because the, the process is already uh, underway here at the Bombers of Kenya, and it is the Democratic Action Party of Kenya, and it is a splinter uh, group or a splinter party from the uh, Ford Kenya Party, uh, which had been rocked by uh, differences and conflicts between the party leader uh, the, uh, the, the party leader and, of course, some of the members who are, uh, of course, uh, claiming the, the, the position of leadership in that party. And we expect that uh, the, the several leaders will be coming here, the ones who are related or associated to this party, uh, the, the MP for Tongarin, uh, Selisi Miu, as well as uh, Wamunyini, uh, Wafula Wamunyini, who is the member of parliament for Kandui, is also already here. And the Cabinet Secretary for Defense, Eugene Wamalua, has already arrived. And uh, so this is uh, quite a big day, a day packed uh, with activities. Uh, the pictures you're seeing right now are some of the activities. Uh, members of the, of the party, the new members, have been uh, settling here for quite some time, waiting for this event to kick off. And uh, any time from now, we're going to have it on. And uh, this is coming at the backdrop of a, a, a heightened political activity where political parties are being launched every day, regardless of the fact that uh, some of them are fringe, but uh, they're here to begin and they're here to stay and they're here uh, to become vehicles uh, towards the next general election. And uh, we've also seen several other parties being launched. A few days ago, we saw the Mbass party, uh, which is associated with the uh, uh, Meru governor, Kiraitu Murongi, uh, rebranding itself to Democratic Empowerment Party, de, uh, rather Devolution Empowerment Party, and uh, just uh, changing its tack and, uh, ahead of this election. And that was after five years, and uh, that just tells you how much uh, our political parties are special purpose vehicles towards the election. And uh, with the uh, no nominations and the party primaries expected in uh, April next year, these parties would be a, a, fallback, a fallback plan for uh, many candidates who would like to uh, go all the way to the, uh, to the ballot in, uh, on August 9th. And so we also had the, the Party of African, uh, uh, Pamoja African Alliance, which is also a party that is linked to uh, Kilifi Governor Emerson Kingi, and uh, which was launched uh, also recently just to spearhead the, the, the views and the, uh, the, 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 the concerns of the people from uh, the, the coastal region. And uh, recently the, the same party uh, said that it was going to back uh, the ODM leader Raila Odinga's uh, presidential bid. And that uh, just shows you that uh, especially these uh, second-term governors are working overtime to ensure that they have something to bargain with because uh, this is a game of bargaining, it's a game of... Uh, numbers and is a game of interest uh, that we expect that uh, they will, that conversation will be coming up here. And uh, with the, the, the Cabinet Secretary for Defense here, it also points uh, a lot in terms of the involvement of uh, uh, civil servants and the Cabinet Secretaries uh, in politics, uh, because uh, the, the UDA side uh, or the UDA camp uh, led by the DP William Ruto had recently complained that uh, political parties uh, or, or uh, cabinet uh, ministers are being involved directly in politics. And we saw recently during the Azimio Lomoja meeting in Katarani, where the ODM leader Ray Lodinga was launching his presidential bid, uh, where several cabinet secretaries, about six or seven of them, were already there. We saw uh, various public uh, permanent secretaries and the uh, CASs also at accompanying uh, the, the, the ODM leader Ray Lodinga during that event. And so, we expect that this event will spark a lot of conversation across the country in terms uh, of the political involvement. And lastly, before I hand it over to you, uh, recently we had a complaint uh, from the UDA uh, saying that uh, their colors, which is normally uh, uh, the yellow, which is dominant, green, and the black wheelbarrow, uh, the colors had been taken over by the Mbass party. But uh, the Mbass party's officials uh, recently just uh, said that those uh, concerns are not le legitimate uh, because their color, which looks like yellow, is, uh, is uh, actually golden. Gold, uh, golden. And uh, maybe uh, this conversation is going to go on, but uh, the colors for this party, uh, the Democratic Action Party, is white. So we expect that uh, perhaps uh, more conversation will be coming over 
in terms of uh, the activities. And we'll be staying here uh, to give you a blow-by-blow -blow cover of what will be happening uh, right here at the Bomas of Kenya. Maringa. Indeed, Emmanuel Tomini, thanks for that. Report your eyes and our ears on that uh, new party. And of course, we shall be getting informed by Emmanuel To in our subsequent bulletins. Now, that is where we wind up today's edition of New Centre. My name is George Maringa. Thank you so much for your splendid company. Up next is the Swahili team with Yanayo Jiri. I'll see you again next time. As always, stay safe and be kind to one another.